I'm Scotland Hastley, president of Animal Rescue Corps. The team and I are here on scene in Coffee County, Tennessee, on a large-scale cruelty case. Absolutely deplorable conditions. You know, we've been on a rescue operation for the past week in Chicago, puppy mill of 80 dogs. We got an emergency call last night from the local sheriff's department saying they were on scene of deplorable conditions of a potential animal cruelty case. They asked if we can come and we didn't hesitate. We saw one image of these animals and I split the team in two. We drove all night, we just got here. You can see we're setting up behind me. We're getting ready to remove 100% of these animals. I'm very concerned about their health and safety. I don't have, we don't have a lot of time to spare. There's some seriously critical animals in this operation. We got this call, what, 12 hours ago? We were in Chicago. Um, I'm glad they called us though, this is, this is bad. So you're looking at 40 parts per million on the ammonia level that's inside the house currently. So we're good with our protective gear. You are, but I would ventilate and wear respiratory protection. This is going to be a tough day, a very tough day. I don't understand how somebody can do this, you know? This is what we do. We take animals out of cages and promise them new life. And we see so many different responses in the animals from case to case. This case is one of the saddest cases because every animal that I've taken out of their cage, they've already given up. It's nothing but sadness. They just, they've just succumbed to death, I think. No, no dog should ever look like this. I mean, it's so sad. She's, she's soaking up this attention. She's got to be in pain, but she wants the attention so bad she's allowing me to stroke her. Take a look at what's going on here. Um, can we go directly onto the spay wagon with her? We had a dog with a prolapsed uterus that had to go into emergency surgery the day that we pulled her off the scene. I mean, the conditions we have found in these animals are consistent with the living conditions we found. They've been just living on mounds of their own feces for quite some time. 
He hasn't come in front of the cage for a reason. He's, he's been in one position for so long, his matting has grown into the cage. It's about at least a foot of feces on the ground, if not more. You know, we were on another case. We were trying to finish up our, our case in Chicago, Operation Spring Break, and here we are on a brand new case with only half our team down here. We've dubbed this rescue Operation Midnight Run for obvious reasons. We, we made a midnight run. We got no sleep. You should have seen the team. The team was amazing. We had no time. We, we planned this rescue and responded and, and started removing animals all within a 12-hour period. I couldn't be more proud of this team. We've been here all day. It's now just after 5, and this is the last dog. We'll be wrapped up in the next half hour, load up our equipment, and get these guys on their way to the emergency shelter where our veterinarians will be giving them, clearly, veterinary care for the very first time. This is it. How about that? Graham's going to take good care of that. emergency shelter just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, days into Operation Midnight Run. The animals are incredibly resilient. They're coming around. They're turning into dogs for the very first time. Our veterinarians have been working diligently. I'm Dr. Jillian Edwards. I was at the site the day that we confiscated these animals. We're here today doing reassessments to see how we're coming along now that we're out of the environment that they were taken from. What we were seeing was basically a lot of filthy conditions and severe neglect over a long period of time. Things that we were seeing mostly were skin conditions related to severe matting and standing and fecal material, chronic eye ulcers, severe chronic ear infections. For instance, this dog obviously has a lot of skin infection. You can see the scabbing and the hair loss. They've got a long way to go before they have a full recovery, but they seem to be socially and mentally already making a lot of ground as far as making up and really becoming more adapted to, to human handling. I think all these guys will, will do really well in the long run, and we got them out in time. Everybody's safe now. Everybody's coming around. It's all because of our our contributors, our donors, our supporters, our volunteers, everybody who's come together to put their lives on hold and do whatever it takes to bring these animals back to life. Most importantly, I want to thank our strategic partners, PetSmart Charities that supplied us with equipment, and the Vista Pet Foundation that provided us the initial funds to get on the ground both Operation Spring Break and Operation Midnight Run. They got our boots on the ground. Thank you.